Tuscaloosa, it's spilled to capacity, and as we mentioned earlier, it's a very warm night for the Cougars and the Crimson Tide. And how Fernando Bryant, one of the deep men, along with Arvin Richard. Arvin on the near side, number 26. And this 98 season is underway for both, and we're going to have a flag as the kick goes out of bounds. And it gives us an opportunity to bring in the big man to kick off the season in Tuscaloosa, Joe Namath. Ron. All righty. The out-of-bounds kick, they take it at the 35-yard line. We'll check the starting lineups for the Crimson Tide in just a moment. Counter, Sean Alexander is going to take it for three as he will be knocked down by, guess who, Rob Morris. Uh, he's the best football player on this field. He has to touch the football 25, 30 times, running the ball, another 5-6, catching the ball. Third down at short, only one wide receiver with two tight ends, and McClintock, the fullback, takes it straight ahead. Stevenson will put the stop on him, but NYU looks over his defense that now has a third down at about 15 against Alabama. As is caught, did Jackson get it in bounds? He did. And that's another 35-yard line. You've just joined us, just under 11 minutes to play, opening quarter, no score. Blitz again, that's Morris. Gets the pass away, has it complete to Bowens, and now bumped out of bounds as he goes inside the... Alexander in motion, they come with pressure, they break the fullback to Clinton, has five, has nine, and maybe ten, he will have the first down. Walk the screen, first down Alabama, they can pick up a first down without scoring. Quarterback draw, at the five, at the three, at the two, he may have the first down. Like the fullback, now he's a key player in this offense. Well, they take it with Sean Alexander, he'll cut it up, and he will score. To attempt the extra point, Junior out of Sarasota. Kick is right down the middle. For Bob Davey and his guy. Well, Sammy Sosa got a single, Bob Davey got a home run. He's still got a few more to go, though. Mike. There's the screen, and Sataki loses the football. It's going to be recovered at the 28-yard line as Travis Smith knocked the ball away from him. Third down and short, and now Jones and Crutchfield. Double tight end situation as Alexander breaks it. He's gone. Found it off. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. And McClintock with the paving block. 37 yards. to attempt his second extra point of the night. Good pass, and he's perfect again. So the Alabama Crimson Tide installed it. Filled to capacity on a warm Saturday night, and for BYU, it's getting hotter. They go with the running play. Jenkins to the right side. Going to take it out over the 45-yard line, and far and away, the best. Here back on it, and get back on the playing field. He gets the hand off the deep of the eye. Going to take it close to the first down. Faust will finally hit him, and I think because he's been there such a short time, and this offense is very complex. Third down. Federer. Hit from behind, and he's sacked by Wagner. We're getting four. Six seconds left opening quarter. Alabama, 14 to nothing. Phillips bouncing around. Throws it perfectly. Michael Vaughn on the receiving end, and did he get the first? Alabama has maintained good field position throughout this first half. Just shy of the 50 here. Fumbles the ball and is loose and picked up. 93 is fresh, and he is going to take it for the first touchdown of 1998. And we set up the top of the telecast. The defense was going to have to help carry this BYU team early, and they have done just that. 1,000 plus has gone silent. As BYU is on the board, and they get it there defensively. Extra point is good, and we have a new score. Like sometimes, but he is one of the really good guys in college football. Straight ahead, five, almost ten yards as Brad Martin grabs the top of Alexander's jerk and 119 for the Crimson Tide. Short drop, that pass thrown complete. 
to Freddie Mills, and the freshman was going to have the ball last, was going to win it, Mike. Yeah, it sure was. There was some great uh, football, two good quarterbacks. Third down, has it complete at the 30 to Quincy Jackson. And now here comes a late flag in. Feel hardly three minutes in the entire first half, and we got 12 points to play until intermission. Wide open in the flat, Jackson. Can't squeeze by Robertson and going to be stopped short of the first to take it back to a 14-point margin. Alexander, blocker in front, McClintock, he will score. Crutchfield also with a painting block. to try to make it a 21 to 7 game and he's put some there Alabama's had the ball 13 13 in the first half BYU 548 Federick's pass got it complete out here in the flat that's Jenkins to get him out of the backfield and he's going to take it for the longest gainer of the night out of the rice game and uh, BYU then shuttled three different quarterbacks, and it, it, the continuity was not theirs. The ball is loose. Atuaya fumbled the ball as he crossed the 45, and Alabama has recovered. Young right now, but for very good reason. Play clock is down to three, down to two. Phillips rolls, that's Jackson again, and knocked out of bounds at the 23, that will be another. He didn't take a shower for two weeks. <laughs> Third down, they got to take it down to the 13-yard line, and they go with the draw play. Alexander has five, has ten, counted off as he will take it down to the 11-yard line. Uh, in the red zone again. Middle linebackers blitz, hit ball is going to be knocked down. It could have been intercepted, but was not, and it was against career attempt. BYU looks to be offside, sir. He's got it. Get all the way to the 30-yard line, or the defense has got to come right back out on the field. Kevin sprints out of the pocket, under pressure, gets by a second man, and will not get by the third. It was number 20, Kevin Sigler. Third sack. Marchfield standing four yards deep in the end zone to get this punt away. And again, Alabama stands to get very good field position. They've got the return, our best punt of the night. Richard, back to the 45. Runs into his own man, runs into a second Crimson Tide player. He dropped the, the ball, ball, came loose, and BYU was on it. Let's see, the play was dead. No, sir. Cougar football. Well, this is the break that could get BYU back in. A lot of people visited them to learn their system. Split backs, they look at a third down. They need to take it down to the 37-yard line to keep this drive going. Federick deep over the middle, and he has his man. Longest pass play of the night. He comes at the 5-13 mark. An opportunity to come back. Second and five, Federick gets it away. The ball is tipped, and it is Atuaya, the fullback, who makes the third down. Wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, a paint away. What made this play, Ron, was the block of Ronnie Jenkins. He took a hit after he got the fake pass to a paint away in the end zone. Wide open. They need to stop right here. Minute 50 left until halftime. Deep over the middle, and that ball well overthrown. And now here comes the flag. Now the question is, and I'm sure the BYU staff will ask, was the... This, this is big for BYU's defense now. They've got to shut them down here. No timeouts left, 1.35 on the clock. They've got to shut them down. Pressure, and Phillips going to run. And steps out of bounds after picking up about seven yards. Shotgun formation. Alexander is back there with Phillips. But he's there as a blocker. Sideline, head it open, and Calvin Hall... Boy, made a value, and the tip couldn't stretch out enough. 
Third down. Line to make is the 26. And that was Tito Smith. The second man on the list, defensive starts. Lobs it, has it complete. And that's Mahi again. And he not only will have the first down, but he picks up an extra eight or nine yards. Huh? Possibly if you throw the football. But they're going to try to hold on to possession. The Snowden is going to have the first down. And Mike, he looked like he's cramping up. He was not running full speed, was well, he, he? he? He got the corner there very easily, almost. Yeah. First down, they have it at the 37-yard line of Alabama. Pressure up the middle. It's swinging the ball at two wide up. And the big fullback is going to ramble inside the 30 and down close to the 27-yard line. Run. Point game, 24 to 14. And BYU trying to make it a three-point contest. Draw play, cut at the 10, puts a hit down, and he's close to the five-yard line. Ball is loose. Who got it? It'll stay with BYU. On second down, they have to sweep. Blocker in front, touchdown. Mahi, and look out. We got a four-point ball game, 24 to 20. You know the thing about confidence? Potsman to attempt the extra point. Good pass. And Owen is good. And with Tim Phillips will start in a shotgun formation. Nobody else in the backfield with it. They said middle screen. And this is Vaughn. Breaks it open. Up the far sideline. Jason Walker was looking to be a very tough place to play, right? Not Sean Alexander. You're right. Sean Alexander hasn't touched the ball yet. Got his pass complete at the 41, and that's Eric Locke. The freshmen have it on the sideline marker, so Bama called a timeout. And they got Brown in at fullback. Alexander is there, and Zao hands it off to Alexander. And it would appear, yes, he has the first down. Plus, I wonder if they're on IV, Mike, to try to uh, get the cramps away. Alexander almost broke it. Takes it down inside the 30 is Mongolia High School. Zhao sets the throw and just puts this one up in the air and completes it. I don't believe it. Quincy Jackson. That thing is either picked off or taken for a tie. The offense coordinator beat about a half a yard. Alexander, I don't know, except second effort. Boy, a great Boy. second effort. Mike, second effort, but I still don't think from where the linesman has come in, I don't think he got it. Chris Ellison, from his strong safety position, came up to make the final hit. Ron, he was running against 10 players. They they put 10 players up on the line of scrimmage. He didn't make it. That was big. Veteran, short drop. That Mahi. Takes it for... He has just taken over this game. The freshman out of Salt Lake City. Now he's going to carry the ball. Boy, he gets branded and breaks off the tackle and brings it back as he has stopped just short of the... It's hooks in motion, top of the screen, and they go to the draw play. And Cup breaks off the tackle and is going to take it inside the 20-yard line. It's such a nice job by Grimes to... Not only fight off his man, but stay at home. Third down. They need the three and a half yard line. Draw play. Atuaya puts a head down and still fighting. He's going to miss the first down by about three yards. His three yard attempt. We are tied with one minute, 20 seconds to put his hand like his hands are, uh, are cramping as well. An arm. Zow going to be hit and sacked. And again, it is Chris Hope along with Rob Morris who come in to combine for the second line to make. It's the 38 and a half yard line. Veteran blitz right at the middle. Can he get away? Travis Carroll will have him. How about two big plays in a row? Travis Smith plus him out. Travis Carroll made here in this situation to Sean Alexander or a shuffle or well the pass is thrown complete to Alexander and you see Rob Morris number 44 coming from that middle linebacking spot the eighth of third down conversions but they don't have one in the second half they haven't had a third down quick looking pass incomplete so they're they're human they Chris Ellison being taped on the sideline for the Cougars. 
draw as Federick is going to take it forward for the first down at the 40-yard line to keep this one going. About to go under eight minutes left in the ball game. And the crowd trying to help out the Crimson Tide. Federick gets it away. It is intercepted by Fernando Bryant. Stayed and felt that pressure if he could have helped keep down or away the interception at least. Pass complete. McClintock puts a head down. It fumbled the ball, but he fumbled it out of bounds. After this point. In the first half, Alabama took 36 snaps in BYU territory. Is the reverse to Vaughn. Turns it up, has the first down, and runs into his own man. Samuels outside blocking his own man. First down at the 28. Sean Alexander has five, has ten, and he's out to the races. Touchdown, Alexander. Sportsman-like conduct, so a very big extra point. This is from 35 yards away, and he got it. The setbacks are in an eye formation with a first down at the 30-yard line. BYU fumbled the snap. Alabama recovers at the 30-yard line. Reggie Grimes. And, Mike, you're right. It was another fumbled snap from center. It just looked like the last two or three plays he was or not, but they, that's about the third or fourth bad center. And that ball is recovered by Alabama's Reggie Grimes, so uh, Alabama in business. It's Vaughn in motion. And they roll the pocket, and there's your safe pass. That's Quincy Jackson. And it is so safe, it's going to be first and goal. Job by Alabama. They're using as much clock as they, they better possibly hurry. can use. Better hurry now. It's down to two, down to one. He got it off. Okay. And it's Alexander on the right side. Touchdown, and he's in the record books. Five rushing touchdowns tonight. In this second half, BYU had really taken the momentum away here last year. First time in the history of the program that they were winless at home. Federick's pass. Got it complete at the 40. And hooks left on the clock. See the blitz right up the middle. They pick it up and he just puts it up. And it's going to go incomplete and there's a play. And this one it looks as though is going to be called on North Carolina State beaten the other night and uh, had a punt block late in the game. Federick running up. He's going to have to run this one at the five, and he will walk it in for the touchdown. And they have only 15 seconds left. So the extra point attempt is up, but it's good. It's a seven-point game, but we have a... John David Phillips takes the snap, goes down on one knee. And this one is history. Alabama wins for the first time under Mike DuBose here in Tuscaloosa. Final score, Alabama 38, BYU 31.